Alright guys, I would like to welcome you back to another video. Mm -hmm. So still on the very same page with the previous question paper that was written on the 18th November 2020. So uh, like our aim is to draw all of them. So I want us to look at uh, uh, question 2 of the very same previous question paper, sectional drawing, sectional drawing, question 2, uh, which was given according to first angle orthographic projection so so before even draw it before even uh, read the question analyze those two views that you are given so we are given an xx these arrows they are actually saying draw what is being pointed by an arrow so whatever that is beyond your cutting plane arrows consider it as an off cut so somebody was trying to uh, it's actually me when I was teaching on TikTok. So that's when I was explaining this one. So then we are given the front and a left according to this angle, according to this uh, uh, symbol, this one, this one. So which means this is your front, this is your left. Because if we put our cartesian plane like this, you understand. So which means your top is supposed to be there. So the correction read as for well draw to a scale one is to one each of the following views of the component in first angle orthographic projection so 2.1 draw a full sectional front view on the cutting band xx a full sectional front view so don't be intimidated by the word full so it can say full only to find out very few thi uh, things there will be in section there you understand so 2.2 draw a full sectional left view so and Somebody might be like, but where is the cutting plane of a left view that they are talking about? And 2.3, draw a full sectional uh, or draw a top view, an outside top view, which means it's just an outside top view that we have to draw there. So now let's start. So before you start, uh, you must plan your work. You must plan your work very well since they said to draw even a top so you cannot start your front view bottom little bit bottom because the top is supposed to be underneath of what of your front view so i am going to start i'll just draw a faint line like this this side and and draw another one this side that's going to be like this so from here, I am going to start to draw the what the the the, the front view that they are talking about, the front view that they are talking about. So then the scale is one is to one. So have your calculator. So this dimension from here till here is ninety two millimeter. So I am going to say nine two divided by two. We are getting forty six. Eh? So I come and measure from this point till this side. This is 190, 92, eh? 91, 92 is right there. 92 is right there, and the half of it is 46. 45, 46 is right here. You understand? So I cannot draw a what if a, a horizontal paint line at the moment. The line that I can draw is the vertical. Dark. Then faint. Then erase this one. Okay, from there, I can now come and see what is the height of it from here to here. The height of it from here to here is 92 again. So I can record this 92, whether even here, even on the center, I still running the same thing. 92, this is 90, 91, 92 is ending right here. And where 92 ends, I can draw a vertical, a horizontal dark line. Once I know what is starting from here till there, and this one again, I can draw it dark.
this one again I can throw it dark switch you switch on this one this one and that one you understand then from there you see what is going to happen now so we are having a radius of 14 millimeter so I open it to 14 this radius isn't it there is 15 14 so radius we do not divide radius which is going to be dark from here till here dark from here till there so now we have it solid now here from here till there till there after I've gotten that so we are going to have another radius of 22 but before we try that let's get this one from here till 18 millimeter so I can record today is my 2019 18 is right here 18 right there Then I can throw this one faint, come in the side. Then from there, from there I can now have that radius 18, radius, oh, radius 22 eh? from the very same point. 22, 21, 22 is this one. This one. Then come and place it to the, from the very same point and have this one dark. Till the dark. Understand? Then from here till here dark. From here to the duck. Hmm. And then let's see now what is going to happen. So uh, we are having this one, which is that one. We are going to have this one separator of six millimeter which is that one so I'm going to say three millimeter the side three millimeter on the other side you understand this is three four five so I mark it zero and mark it five six like that then from there And project them up and down this is it faint this is it faint as well so I'm feathering them down because they still going to need a uh, help me there by my top view you understand so then now this one from here till you it's supposed to disappear which means again from here till here, I, have, I have to erase it this one erase it a bit was from here till here, it's supposed to disappear so now I can have them dark dark till here isn't it dark till there from here till the solid from here till the solid right so we are having a 
a, di a dimension of what of 60 millimeter so we're going to say 30 this side and 30 this side I mark at zero and mark at 60 and this is going to give me the center of these holes Draw it as such till down till down like this. Then after that we are we we are told forty forty but this 40 is in the middle of nowhere up until you deal with what with this 15 you understand so from here to here 15 millimeter you understand so the 15 is giving you the first center isn't it so which is this one there you go even towards your 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 right hand side so that you get the the left view so you are told to from here till here you can now measure the foot to get the second ones so i mark this your zero and there you go so they are off diameter what? Diameter 12. So have your stencil ruler so that you are accurate and faster. Stencil ruler, diameter 12. This is diameter 12. So you correspond it with these two holes. So you cannot use the stencil ruler without your two centers. You must firstly get your two centers before you can use the stencil ruler. There you go. There you go. In this side. Like this you go. So these four holes are these ones. And if we follow the cutting plane of XX was that XX is actually talking about the full sectional front view so these holes they won't be cut it they will just remain like that they will just remain like that and again on your top these holes there are four these holes there are four they are of the same diameter diameter 10 diameter 10 they are four so the other two they were after the cutting plane and then the, the first two they were ac just across the cutting plane so that is why we even here we are going to express them in section and they're off diameter 10 which means 10 divided by 2 you're going to say 5 this side 5 this side so there is your 5 and you mark it at 0 you understand so even this side you can do the same thing 5 here I mark 0 and 10 understand so now you come have this one solid and this one solid this one solid and this one solid I understand so at the moment we cannot express the full sectional front view of item more of one because we are not given the dimension from here to here so we have to we'll, we'll be getting it somewhere there we cannot assume what it is in the what is in the it's along your center of these two holes let, let, let it come out by itself we cannot assume like that so which means at the moment do not section go and draw your left view and left view, view so I'm going to measure 20 millimeter from here towards my right hand side 
there is my 20 ending so there by 20 that's when I will start to draw my left view have this line like this my left view there 